So here we go. Applications of rational functions. How are they used? Well, this function n of t equals 0 0.7 t plus 900 over 6 t plus 5, where t is equal to or greater than 15, gives the body concentration n of t in parts per million of a certain dosage of medication after time t in hours. What does n of t approach as t goes to infinity? Well, t is time, right? And t is in hours. So here's our function right here. 0 0.7 t plus 900 over 6 t plus 5. And the first question is, now this is n of t, Here's the question, what does N of T approach? That is, what, what number does the function or the Y values And that means get close to. As T approaches infinity just means as T gets bigger and bigger, um, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, no, it's hours, 15 hours, 30 hours, 40 hours, 50 hours, 100 hours, 200 hours. as T gets bigger and bigger. What they're asking for is the horizontal asymptote because that's what the horizontal asymptote is. That's why it's so valuable. We're going to graph this when we're done. Well, the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of the highest degree terms. 0 0.7 T over 6t, where t to the 1 power and t to the 1 power are exactly the same degree. So they cancel, leaving you with 0 0.7 over 6. Well, let's get the calculator. We're going to have 0 0.7 divided by 6. And let me make sure that is what I'm doing. Yep. 0 0.7 divided by 6. Enter. Okay. So, as T gets bigger and bigger, this is going to get closer and closer and closer to this number. Well, let's round it to one decimal place, say.
point one. Now we're going to look at the graph and you'll see. Now B, explain the meaning of that answer. And the meaning of the answer is this. Let's read the story problem again. The function in T equals this thing. When T is equal to or greater than 15 hours, gives the body par concentration in parts per million of a dosage of medication after a certain number of hours. Explain the meaning. The concentration is never going to go back totally to zero. Now that's kind of scary. But that's it. The concentration never returns to zero. assuming it was zero before. However, notice that that is pretty darn close to zero. Let's graph it. I'm going to use X instead of T. Okay, now first, okay, I'm gonna put X instead of T. Notice that this says it's only interested in T greater than 15. That means I'm going to have to set my window so that the minimum X, X value is 15. <coughs> now I'm going to make that 50. I mean, I don't know. Let's make it two. And let's let's just assume that the minimum Y is going to be zero. I mean, this is Y. So let's assume that at least in the beginning, the concentration was zero. And then how high is it going to go? Well, I don't know. I want to say 50 and then we'll go from there. That might be just too big. But I don't know, so I need an overview. OK. So I'm going to clear this and clear this and go back here and parentheses 0 0.7 T, so I'm going to say X, plus 900. parentheses closed, divided by parentheses 6x plus 5. Okay, so let's look at this. 0.7x plus 900 divided by 6x plus 5. I have no idea what this is going to look like. OK. Well, since we're only measuring starting at 15, this is what we get. What if we go all the way out to 100? Let's look. 
I'm going to make my X max 100. OK. Keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. What if I went out to, what do you think here? 200 hours. It never gets all the way down to zero. Well, that's what our math shows. You know the concentration is going to drop. I mean, you'll urinate it out, for instance, and most drugs just break down after a while anyway. But interesting, very interesting. Okay. So the graph is going to even out at point 0.1 and never get to zero meaning the concentration will not go to zero, whatever this medication is. Now let's try this one. And they've given us a graph here and I can make it bigger. Uh, the population P in thousands of a resort community is given by P of T equals 500 T divided by 2 T squared plus six, where T is greater than or equal to zero, and T is time in months. Now we have an A, B, and C. Find the population at T equals zero, T equals 1, T equals 3, and T equals 8. OK, well, we can do that just with the calculator. So A is find P of 0, P of 1, P of 3, and P of 8. So that will be 500 times zero over two times zero squared plus six. That's going to be zero over six, which is zero. Let me make this bigger. All right, P of 1 is going to be 500 times 1 over 2 times 1 squared plus 6. That will be 500 over 2 times 1 squared is still 2 times 1 plus 6. And that'll be 2 plus 6 is 8. So we're going to take 500 and divide it by 8. And what are we going to get? Calculator, come on, tell us. Five hundred divided by 8. 62.5. Well, gosh, 62 and a half people. Let's go for 63 people. And in fact, let's read what it says again. Oh, never mind, I didn't have to do that. If I multiplied this by a thousand, because the population is in thousands, 
and the time is in months. So 62.5 times 1,000 is going to be 62500. 0, 0. 62,500 people are at the resort after just one month. All right, now P of 3, 500 times 3 over 2 times 3 squared plus 6. This is going to be 1500 over 2 times 9 plus 6. That'll be 1500 over 18 plus 6. That'll be 1,500 over 24. Um, yeah. Okay, 1,500 divided by 24. Ha! Huh? Same number. Sixty two thousand five hundred people. That's amazing. All right, how about after eight months? Five hundred times eight over two times plus six equals 40, zero, zero. Four thousand over two times 64, eight squared is 64, two times 64 plus six, that'll be 4,000 over 128 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14, carry the 1. That'll be 134, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, 134. Okay, come on, calculator. So what have we got? We've got 4,000. divided by 134. Enter. It's dropped. Two. 29,851. How much do you want to bet they want us to round? And I did not I didn't capture the instructions. No, oh, well, didn't capture the instructions. Um, all right, so that's going to be what? 29,800. Uh, boom, 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 if I wanted to do that. But let's say 30,000. Okay, they might want you to be more exact. So read the instructions. B, find the horizontal asymptote of the graph and determine the value that P of T approaches as time goes on and on and on and on to years and decades and, and gosh, millennia. Let's check this out. Well, I can tell you right now, just by looking at it, we're going to have 500t over 2t squared
the power on the bottom is higher than the power on the top. So this is going to get really, really, really close to zero. And we can look at the graph. And it looks like at time zero, there was zero. And then at time one, it starts growing rapidly. And then at time three, I mean, I had it was the same thing. Maybe I calculated wrong, but I don't think so. And, and then after eight months, look, it's already declining precipitously, going down, down, down. And it is eventually, if not going to actually touch zero, at least it's going to get infinitely close to zero so that you can't tell the difference. The population is going to go to zero. So let's see, C, explain the meaning of the answer. Well, that was the meaning of the answer. That was the meaning of the answer. Really close to zero. All right, that's it for today. See, I didn't make you suffer too long. We're out just a little bit early, and now you know more than you did before, and you can do your homework. So I hope you did well on the test, and I hope you do well on your homework. I'll be grading tests this weekend. Yay me! After I feed my dog and take her for a walk and feed the cats, Yes, that's how I plan to spend Saturday and Sunday, is grading the exams of everybody in all my classes. It should be fun. All right, I'll see you later. I'll see you next Saturday. And happy Halloween. I hope you get lots of candy. Ms. Barbara, can you go back down a little bit so I can see the B? Yes, yes. Thank you. I'll take a picture of it. Um, uh, this is going to be posted in uh, Module 11. So this is uh, for Week 10 or 11? 11. This is the beginning of Week 11. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Uh, would it affect in my grade if uh, my practice exists? test score is lower than my test? Uh, they're two different things. I think the uh, the practice tests don't don't count very much at all. Okay. And the, the tests count a lot. Okay. So the test is definitely more important. Okay. Because I was thinking about retaking that, but if you said it's not as important, then... You mean um, the practice test? Yeah, the practice It does test. count more than the homework. I think it counts 25 points. More than the homework? Okay. So it's up to you. It's totally up to you. So do I have to have 100 to get the 20 points? No, no, you'll get however many points you get. Okay. All right, then. Thank you, Ms. Barbara. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Anybody else have questions? Jordana, you have questions. Recording has started. Oh, don't tell me.
There you go.